So next up are the left and right section with the images. Now their background is the same as the featured content section. So instead of creating new backgrounds for them, what we can do is just duplicate the one we already made. You can do that by selecting that background, right clicking on its layer, and choose duplicate layer. And you can also name it. So let's name it left section. This can also be done by pressing Command and J. But for now we just need the left one. So let's drag it on top of all the other ones. Let's group it into the left section group. And let's move it. Also we want about 20 pixels distance between the featured content and the left section. So 20 pixels, move the guides, take the background and move it till it sticks. And there we go. Now create horizontal lines that are about 30 pixels on the upper and bottom corners of the shape. So, again with the marquee tool, that's 30 here. Uh, let's put one here too. 30. Now, Create a new layer, create a rectangle tool, just click anywhere on the page, and it should be 300 in width and 240 in height. Here's your new rectangle. Now move it to Align with the guys. Now just change its color to F1, F1, F1. This will again be our image placeholder. Now just like we did before, file, place embedded, and choose the second image to place. Now it's pretty big, so we'll have to pre-transform it again. So make sure you're pressing the shift key while you're resizing. Otherwise, it'll look like this. And you don't want that. So press shift and resize till it's the perfect size to fit. And this time we'll be using clipping mask. So just Hover over the middle of the image in the image placeholder and press out and this little control will appear. So just click. Now double click on the rectangle placeholder we just made and you will open its layer style or blending options. Check stroke, make the size 10 pixels, position it inside, and change the color to F1, F1, F1. Okay, and there we go. We have a nice border around the image. So, for the text, let's leave about 20 pixels distance. So let's drop a guide there. 20. Yeah. 
Oh, and we need to group these so it's tidier. Group it into left image. Now, for the text, the font should be Arial Bold, 20 point, and make the color 484848, another dark gray. And write full responsive and align that text according to the guides. Yeah, there we go. Now create a new text field like we did with the dummy text above. And again, oh, make sure it's left aligned. And type face lorem ipsum. Oh, that's too big though. Change the font to 14. Arial regular, and there we go. Oh, and also line spacing. Feels good. Type. Face lower mipsum. Let's just check if that's the one we want. Yep, that's perfect. Now all that's left is the button, which you don't need to make from scratch again. We can just duplicate the one we already made and change its color. So just duplicate this folder with command plus J and move it in the last section. Also make sure to position it again within the guides. Yeah. And just change the color to that green one we've been using. So instead of writing down the hex value, you can just double click on the shape and with the color picker, click here to get the color. And it looks like we're done with the left section. Next up is the right section, which as you can see it's pretty much the left section but right aligned. So what we're gonna do is duplicate the left section again with command and J, rename it to right section. And just move it again 20 pixels after the left one. So that's one, two. Let's put a guide there also. And one here. Let's zoom in a little. Oh, this also should have 30 pixels. So drag a guide there and drag one here. Now all you have to do is just move some elements around a little. Like for example the left image it should be about here and the text and button should be here. Okay, 
And now we just have to change the title to Merchant Pretty. Merchant Pretty. Right, left align this and move it. And we have to change the image. So we can delete this one. File, place embedded, and place in the third image, which also needs to be transformed. So that too much. There we go. And again, make a clipping mask without and click. You can also move it around a little to it looks okay to you. And rename this right image. And with that, we are done with our featured content section, left section, and right section.